Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to look at the past perfect simple. Let's take a look at some examples. After Sophie had finished her work, she went home. I had not eaten at that restaurant before today. What had they said that made him so angry? So let's first start with a timeline. We have a horizontal line. On the left-hand side, we have the past. On the right-hand side, we have the future. The vertical line represents now. So the past perfect would be the black star. And the past simple would be the white star. So when do we use it? The past perfect simple is used to describe one action that happened before another action in the past. So, looking back at the timeline, we can see the past perfect happening first, and then the past simple. In the majority of cases, a complete sentence is written in two parts. The action that happens first or earlier uses the past perfect simple and the action that happens second or later uses the past simple tense. So, how is it formed? You know by now that uh, in English we need uh, an auxiliary verb or helping verb for uh, most tenses. In this case, we uh, have had for the auxiliary verb. We also need the past participle that can be regular or irregular. Uh, the past participle would be the third column on your chart. Do not confuse it with the past tense that we use for the past simple tense. We're talking about the past perfect simple. So, let's look at a positive sentence. The formula would be subject plus helping verb plus past participle, plus the object, and then the time expression if you have one. They have missed the lesson. So, missed is the past participle and is regular of the verb to miss. For a negative sentence, we need the subject, plus the helping verb, plus not, plus the past participle, and then the object, and then the time expression if you have it. I had not seen him tonight. So we have had as a helping verb, plus not, and then seen is the past participle of the verb to see. Be careful here because it's an irregular verb. So it's not saw, it's seen, past participle. Then four questions. If you have the uh, WH question word, how, when, were, etc. You write them before. Otherwise, we write WH question word plus the helping verb, then the subject, and then the past participle of the verb, and then whatever is next. So, first, the auxiliary verb or helping verb. So, had. Then, the subject, you. Then, been past participle of the verb be, then we, we need there before. So there before would be uh, what is next. Uh, what is important here is the order of the subject, the verb, helping verb, and the main verb. Now, time expressions and adverbs of time that we use with the past perfect uh, simple. Already, for, since, and yet. Then, use after, as soon as, the moment that, until, before using the past perfect simple. Like in this example, I didn't say anything until they had finished talking. So, until is before the past perfect simple. So, until they had finished talking. Instead, use before, when, by the time, 
before the past simple. So by the time he phoned her, so we have by the time before, past simple, he phoned her, phoned her, she had found someone new. Had found is the past perfect simple. So let's compare past perfect simple and simple past. So when do we use the past perfect simple to describe an action that happened before another one? What about the simple past? For completed actions, habits, facts in the past. Short actions. The helping verb for the past perfect simple is had. The helping verb for the simple past is did. Only in questions and negative sentences. Instead, for positive sentences, you need the verb in the past that can be regular or irregular. If it's regular, you add ed. If it's irregular, you need to learn the verb, the irregular verb. For the past perfect simple instead, don't forget that we need the past participle, regular or irregular, of a verb. So, you need the helping verb had plus the past participle everywhere. So for questions, for uh, negative sentences and positive sentences. These tenses are usually used together to show sequence of events. So one action happened first and then another action happened next. Let's look at some examples. You had studied English before you moved to Toronto. So which one is past perfect simple? Had studied. Okay. Past simple moved. She only understood the movie because she had read the book. Past perfect simple. Had read. Very good. Past simple, understood, very good. We were not able to get a room because we had not booked in advance. So, past perfect simple, had not booked, very good. Past simple, were not able, very good. Be careful here because is the past simple of the verb to be and you know that the verb to be stands alone so we don't need did with the verb to be had you ever visited canada before your trip in 2020 so past perfect simple had visited we don't have the past simple tense here so Let's do some practice. Complete with the past simple and the past perfect simple. Be careful, I will give you 10 minutes to complete this. So pause the video and then I'll give you the key. Okay, now that you have um, written your answers, here's your key. So after the company had hired Joe, he began to work on his first project. Number two, had you heard the news before you saw it on TV? Number three, Michael didn't want to see the movie because he had not read the book yet. Number four, the concert had already begun when we entered the stadium. Number five. Until Anne met Mark, she had never been in love. Number six. Bill had smoked for years before he finally quit. Number seven. Had Sarah ever driven to London by herself before then? Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, don't forget, this is one last tip that I need to tell you. 
In North America, people hardly use the past perfect simple. It is, I suggest that you use it for your writing. It's very important. Okay? And write the uh, extended version. Do not write the contracted version when you uh, do some writing as, uh, assignments. If you have any more questions, please post them under the video. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. So if you have, subscribe to my channel. Uh, like, click on the like button and share the video. Until next time, bye bye.